Welcome. In front of me is a Doji S96 Pro and today I'll show you how to go through the setup of this phone. And when you put it up for the first time, you'll be presented with this screen right over here. So start off by selecting your desired language. I'm going to be sticking with English, so here we go. And tap on start. Next page, you can insert your SIM card. Now this step is completely optional and you don't actually need to do it. You can just skip it by tapping skip and this will take you to the wi-fi connection where you'll have the option to well connect to your wi-fi now again this step is also optional by skipping both the sim and wi-fi you will lose the ability to log into your google account throughout the setup and also date and time won't be set automatically you will need to probably check it if it's correct so i'm gonna skip it here and there's the date and time like i mentioned before so it doesn't look correct, but I'm not really gonna bother changing it to correct one. I'm just gonna tell you what you can do. So number one, I can tap on the time and select it correctly here. Confirm by tapping on OK and same goes with the date. From there, let's go to the next page where you have Google services. So we have location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. Now you can tap on the arrow to expand the explanation of, of what is what this actually does and at the end of the day if you don't like it you can disable them all like so from there scroll all the way down and tap on accept you have a screen lock right here by default the phone opts into a pin which is a four digit pin but you can change it to have either pin or also password and uh, if you don't want any kind of screen protection you can just tap on skip to not set up anything now i'll set up a pattern here so Tap on next, then repeat the same pattern and confirm and this will set it up. Now it asks me if I also want to add a fingerprint. I'm just gonna skip this, I don't really feel like adding a fingerprint to it. Which takes me to the next page which is the uh, wireless update. Uh, just some also privacy policies and some other stuff now. Obviously you do need to uh, agree to them that you have read it and agreed to it. And you can also tap Oh, come on and you can also tap once I get back to it on that blue text to actually go to it so I have privacy policy you're not connected to. okay great so I can't view the privacy policy when I don't have internet which is absolute uh, um, bull but whatever so let's just select accept and continue even though we couldn't really read the entire privacy policy because it didn't provide us with but anyway once you do that you should be on your home screen so that is how you would go through the setup of this device and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.